Well, here we are. We're on the beach at uh, Barmouth, North Wales. Just a bit misty. It's not raining, but it's a bit misty. So we're just having a wander around and see if we can find a walk to do today. There's a steam train. There's a big, massive, light beach here. It's a, you know, an estuary and that, you know. But it looks a nice little place. We've parked up and uh, thought we'd just have a look round and see what we can come up with. And as you can see, there's plenty of parking here. We've parked, you know, on the front here, look, right next to the beach. And uh, it's only £3.50 all day long, so, you know, you can't fault that, really. Yeah, so we've had a wander around Barmouth and we've decided to walk up to the bridge and go over the bridge to Fairburn and back. And we're going to cross the other side now. And it costs you 70p return. And there is a steam train runs on here. We've seen it, but we love it on this bridge, but obviously it's not here at the moment. And we're just heading forward over there to the other side. But this absolutely massive, massive estuary is this. And you can hear the oyster catches are just down below us here in water. Yeah, you can hear them there. It's certainly a nice seaside resort, is, uh, is Barmouth. And you can see the steam train in the distance. That's only a small tourist one, but the really big, you know, standard uh, steam train does run on this. But it's nice, it's right in the middle of the estuary. And there we are, we've got an oyster catcher there. We're just on railway bridge now, and the it looks if they bring them onto rails, some of them to to break them because there's loads of on the bridge. There's loads of oyster shells. They're all should I say mussel shells. Yeah, he's got one. You can see in his beak. So if you do the shorter version you turn right at the just before the station or if you want to do the long version and up the road it ain't that long but uh, follow the trail there as you get to the car as you get up there a bit further you'll pick the road up about 100 yards top side of the station where the car park is and follow the road round and then that brings you the tiny steam train into the ferry or the short run like that, that takes you to the ferry. This is a tiny little train at the other side. We've just come over the other side of the estuary to have a look. Yeah, so we've just left Fairburn and we're just heading, following the railway track down. Like I say, you can go on the railway and down to the ferry or we're just going to walk the wall and, and there's Barmouth at the other side. So we left, we left Barmouth, we walked over the railway bridge, up to the car park at the far side of the bridge, turn right onto the road, and then right again, 
and that brought us out into Fairburn. And then in Fairburn, we walk along the seafront, watch, following the railway line that takes you down to the little ferry. So you can go back on the ferry, you can go on the railway, miniature railway. We're on the seawall now, next to the tiny railway track, and there's Fairburn, look. And it goes out to a big peninsula at the end. And there's a nice wide beach here again. Yeah, so walk forward from Fairburn about halfway. And if you look to your right hand side, there's a walkway that should take you back to the railway bridge. And we're going to check that out now. And this will make a nice round, will this? We've got a little train on the bridge here, look. Going over the estuary, but be honest, it's the steam train we're after if he comes over. You're walking with a taxi driver today. And as we look over, can you see that starlin there sat on that sheep's back? Just behind its head. Sheep's having a look, but he ain't seem to be bothering. He's just got its head in way now, but if it just straightens round, you can just see bird. Look. He's gone. He's jumped up on another, so he must know there's, you know, insects or something on his back. I think it must be used to doing it because sheep's not bothered and birds just sat there as, you know, as happy as out. It's got a good vantage point for any insects, I suppose. Looking towards Barmouth now, waiting for the steam train and uh, let's hope we catch it. Here we are, getting ready for the steam train. We're just coming out of Barmouth now. There we are, can see steam at back at... Just see, there he is, there he is. Oh, this is mint, Janice. There he is, just coming through the tunnel. This is like going back to before Dr. Beach in, is this? <laughs> Just got another little swing bridge there. You can just see steam. Doesn't that look fantastic? Just passing over the estuary now. Then you can hear him puffing away now. We'll have a close-up of the engine there. Yeah, so we've come back out at the station and if you look there's a hidden signpost here so there's two walks here for you and the other thing we're always looking out for if we can we look out to see if it's suitable for wheelchairs and it certainly is 
over the bridge from Barmouth. You know, most of this is suitable, but not all of it. Yeah, so we've turned left at the station and we're heading back towards Barmouth now. Yeah, we're just on the railway bridge now, crossing the estuary and we, the sun's come out, so we, we're gonna give this a go, see if we can get a good, a good shot of the mountains there in the background. As you can see there, it looks if like the the tide's out because the the river's snaking round now. As was earlier on, it was um, you know covering it. We look over, we can see where the where the railway terminus is there. Look, and that's where you pick up the ferry, and then that takes you over. Towards Barmouth there. Yeah, this is Barmouth Harbour here. Look, and there's a pier. That's at the end there. Look, the they're all fishing for crabs. We let them little uh, crab lines, and we might have a go at that later on ourselves. <laughs> 